this is the second part of audio in QLab. Uh, if you haven't seen part one already, I suggest you go back and watch that on, on our previous episodes. And in this episode, we'll be covering more advanced features of audio and giving you some examples of crossfading and uh, effects as well of what's possible uh, in QLab. Keeping in mind I don't work with Figure 53 uh, with this software, I'm simply a user that is really passionate about it and want to really help people learn how to use this stuff quickly. Uh, I personally am a very visual learner. Um, I like to learn visually. I find YouTube videos extremely helpful to kind of give people a quick heads up on how to get, get up and running uh, with the software. So I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. So we have a blank workspace here. We're going to continue the audio section of QLab. I'm just going to throw in a couple uh, ambient files to give some background music uh, for what we're going to use to play with here. Uh, let's just pick a heavy rain one first. And we'll just throw, drop him in. I'm just dragging and dropping him in from my finder. And we need something with some contrast. How about some ocean surf? And uh, so let's let's say, for example, that uh, we want the hard rain to just be playing the whole time uh, while it's while it's raining or in this certain scene. Now this is only nine minutes long. Let's say our scene is going to be is 20 minutes long. So we we could just loop this entire file, but you've got these fade in points there and and in and out, so it's going to fade it in and out. You could move it in, but then you lose the fades at the beginning. The cool way to do this is using slices. So all you have to do is you're going to add some slices. You just come in here and uh, you pick your point where you want it to be. Uh, and the hard rain here, we'll just take it in from like right here looks pretty good. So I'm going to click here and drag across to where I want it to be. Uh, oh, it looks like maybe down here is probably before it starts to fade out. And uh, add slice. So now you have three slices. You have the beginning, you have the center area, and you have the end. So in here, we'll just add, crank this up. Let's say make it it doesn't really matter. Let's make it a hundred times. So it'll just loop a hundred times there over and over and over again. Um, but the nice part about this is it'll play, um, it'll do the fade in for us and it'll loop here in this section and then when we devamp it, it'll continue on through here. So we want to add a devamp, devamp cue. So I just kind of pick where we want it to go. I can either take a devamp cue here and just drag it in. Right there. Drop it in or I could click as well. And now you want to tell the devamp queue to uh, where its target is, which is here. And so now, in a perfect world, um, this should start to play. And let's just hit stop to make sure it starts at the beginning. And it'll start in. And now it'll loop within that section a hundred times until we hit the devamp queue, which I'm going to hit right now. And it should continue on. And it fades out beautifully and goes for the next queue. Now you'll notice the next queue did not play. Um, that is because we have the follow set here to do nothing. This arrow key is the follow section. So we're going to click on it once, which the arrow means it's going to automatically go to the next section um, when this, uh, after this queue fires. I'm going to put just a uh, one second post wait time in there because that'll give it a chance to kind of fade out and do its thing. So let's try that again and hit stop. So it's raining, it's raining. It's all seconds, not nine minutes. So it's raining a bunch. We want it, we're ready for it to switch to the ocean scene. And so it's next going to go right past it this time. And the ocean is already in there. So a very cool way to have audio, audio happen and loop easily without having to have multiple files or break it into different pieces. Um, it's, it's really cool. So let's just toss, get rid of these slices. You can either delete all. If you want to just get rid of one of them, you click and drag it off the scene and it, it makes it vanish. <coughs> um, we're going to just hit delete all. Let's say you wanted to uh, mess around with this ocean file a little bit. Um, Again, you can either bring in these things to say when you want the file to start and end. You can actually manually type it in here as well. You can tell it how many uh, play counts you want or, or infinite. Another cool thing you can do is you can actually put in uh, custom fades in here. And you can just kind of add little and add these little uh, buttons here as well and put them where you want to, uh, you know, kind of change a custom fade out there as, as you see fit. 
you can add multiple uh, multiple little ones and if you want to delete them you just click on it and hit the delete button which will you know clean that up for you nice slick way to uh, add fades without a lot of work uh, we're going to go ahead and delete this so the next thing I want to do is put in just some show you how to use uh, video audio effects um, let's just grab uh, interesting file here let's go to loops and pick an animal those seem to have uh, good possibilities how about a dinosaur growl we'll just drop him in and we're going to delete those other files we don't need them right now just so there's no confusion dinosaur growl so here's our growl let's play it and have a have a listen pretty good let's make a copy of it it's just as easy as going up and hitting copy and paste makes a duplicate cue same thing uh, but this time we're going to add an effect to it so we're going to go audio effects and then add effect apple and just uh, it's a dinosaur you know let's do a uh, let's do a pitch shift that'll be pretty funny for him to uh, make some funny sounds you can move this aside and that way you can hear this hear it and hear what how uh, that's going to be affected it's really not doing much of anything there everything's kind of set at zero let's loop this while we're doing this so that we can uh, hear it playing over and over again and we can kind of play with those settings a little bit more sounds terrifyingly scary like a horse <laughs> and uh, so now we have uh, I put the clay pound back so now we have our first growl our next growl and you know you could have those play simultaneously so you get kind of a double weird thing going on you could have one play uh, at one point just and then just wait maybe uh, maybe just uh, one second and then the other one will start so this will start the first one and then play the second one a second eight later get this lots of scary sounds going lots to play with here so continuing adding um, let's make another copy of this one and uh, this is the new one here and this time for uh, audio effects let's do uh, maybe a delay or a reverb let's do a little delay and uh, we kind of move these around and get it to sound completely interesting and crazy. So there you have it. Uh, quickly, just a few other quick things about uh, about audio. Um, you can also affect um, the levels. You can assign gangs, so you can have these both connected together. So when you adjust uh, the right channel or the left channel, it'll do that immediately. If you want to quickly reset something you've adjusted, you hold down the Option key while you click. It'll go from zero, and if you click again, it'll go back to um, to the default level. Meaning that if you have it again, if you have it here, you hit the Option, it'll take it all the way to the very bottom to mute it. Clicking it again with the Option key down will take it back to a neutral default position. Um, you can assign gangs, so like one and two would be linked together. So if you click the assign gangs button, and uh, you have this be, I think, uh, one, and this would be one, then it, hopefully those will um, remain as uh, a paired set. And there they are. So now they work together beautifully, and you can adjust those as needed. Uh, I'm going to hit the option button again to reset them back to zero. And uh, we are good to go. All right, well, I think you're on track to uh, getting started with audio with QLab.